Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. Thank you so much for stopping by. Respect, enough love, and please, please stop by again. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's jump into your message. Let's see how your divine masculines are feeling about you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's see how your divine masculines are feeling about you right now at this very moment whenever you're watching this. It could be 50 million years from now. Let's see. Okay, Father God, let's see what's going on with these Divine Masculines. How are they thinking or feeling in regards to these Divine Feminines? In regards to their Divine Feminines. You have the death. So it's either something here has been completed. They want to complete something with you. They see your situation as a chance at a new beginning, a new start. Or for some divine masculines, they have just ended things with you. Some of them, they are releasing something and someone to be with you. Some of your divine masculines, they're tired of a situation that they are in. And... It's like I'm tired of what I'm facing, I'm tired of what I'm experiencing, I'm tired of what I'm going through. So they're putting that thing to an end. And at the same time, some of your Divine Masculine have just called it quits with you. A, a breakup, a separation. Let's see what else, please. Financial struggles. So it is because of their financial struggles here why some of your Divine Masculines may have called it quits with you, may have... Put off this union because they are struggling financially because they they are looking at you as this person like I've got to do better for this person I, I cannot I cannot just come in with nothing I've got to be able to provide to protect to secure this person that's how highly they are looking at you so it's not like I want to start a relationship or, or whatever it is. I want to start a relationship, but I need to be able to do what it is that an emperor does for their empress. So they don't want to come in empty-handed. Libra. Some of you are dealing with Libras. Some of your masculines, they feel like you balance them. Some of your masculines may just have run away from you. So I'm picking up two different energies. Some, again, who are coming forward and some who, who have withdrawn. But some of your divine masculines are seeing you as this balanced energy. This, I know what I want for myself. I know what I want my life to be. Because they see you. They listen to you. They hear you speak. And they pay attention. And that's why some of them, they feel like they need to be in that energy of, I need to be able to be financially stable. So I can support. So I can help. So things can be balanced and stable between us. Your masculines ain't no spongers. No. They don't sponge off nobody. Just like the Divine Feminine, we don't sponge off anybody. And worse to sponge off the feminine, uh-uh, ain't gonna work. Union, like I said, there are some who are definitely thinking about being together with you, this union energy, and some who have definitely separated from you here. You fill your divine masculine's cup. It's like you check every box for them. You check every box. And they want to balance this energy with you. They want to balance this situation with you. You have cancer. So there's kind of a little bit of a sneaky energy here. Or your masculines may be seeing you in that way. A little bit of sneaky energy. 
or you're definitely dealing with a cancer. But your divine masculines, they are definitely looking for a new beginning for sure. Let me let me align this thing here. They're looking for a new beginning, and some are still a bit confused. Let's see what else is going on with these masculines. Yeah, some are still confused. They're still in that hermit mode. They're still trying to figure out what's going on with this situation. They're still trying to find themselves. Some of them are so shocked that they see a part of them within you. Like you remind them of how they used to be in the past. Or you remind them of the things that they're accepting. The, their own behaviors. See that? I can't lie to you, my friends. I told you there are two different energies here. Separation. Communication. No communication. Blocked. Yeah. Toxic situation. The back and forth energy. The misunderstandings. The arguments. The conflicts. Ending. Heartbreak. Loss. So... You're definitely going through an ending. Some of you guys here. The death was the very first card. Definitely going through an, end, an ending and a heartbreak. And that's because you and your divine masculines may have separated here. Yeah. You need time to grow and heal. And so does your person. So does your person. Some of your persons, they actually see that see like you are a bit too clingy a bit too pressuring and a bit too argumentative and that's exactly what the um the devil energy is about and that's why they may have blocked you may have separated from you but there's a union coming for someone there's a union coming. Oh, okay, of course. There's a union coming. I can sense that so strongly. This person will definitely return. Whoa. Lovers, baby. I like how the energies flow in each layer. Look. Ten of cups. Seven, three, seven. Nine of cups. Look how that card just flew out. And the star. There's a balance that's happening between you and your person. There's a balance that's coming in. Nine of Cups energy. Fulfillment. Fulfillment of their highest dreams. They see it within you. And you see it within them. But this is about the masculine. This is what you're seeing right now. What they've always dreamed of. Like I said, you check every box for them. And you're seeing that. And this is my deck, guys. You can purchase this. Follow the link in the description box. It will take you to um, makeplaincards.com where you can purchase this deck. It's the Oracle of Emotions. Well, your Divine Masculines are definitely preparing for a union. You are their star. Some of you are dealing with Capricorns as well. Release your ex. And this came up in, in, in the last two messages, I think. Or was it the only was it only the first one? But they're releasing something, like I said. They're releasing something over there. And that's gonna help them to move forward towards this love of their life. Because with you they know they will be fulfilled. But before they get to that point, they gotta balance that finance. We can't stop them. We can't stop someone. We can't tell someone how to love us. We can't tell someone how to care for us. If we, if we could, then we'll just be controlling them. The way that someone shows their love for us, we can't control it. There are good ways and there are bad ways, but now you are supposed to use your discernment and know if it's bad or good. We can stop them, but you can decide if it's bad or good actions. 
okay so don't go and say twin d said we can't stop somebody how to love you when they're kicking your ass and then you're gonna say oh my god him kicking my ass and slapping me all around he loves me that's his way of showing me that he loves me twin d said to that we can't control the way people love us ay 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 <sighs> so let me add that little part again we cannot control the way somebody loves us, but we can decide and determine if it's good for us the way they love us or if it's bad for us. You understand? Because you got to love yourself most of all. And to love yourself is to decide if someone truly loves you or it's, I don't know what you would call it, because I only truly love, I only truly love. Let's get you a message from your guides. Let's see what they have to say, your archangels. Archangels, what messages do you have for your... Oh my God, the whole deck. Wait, there are three that turned over. I'm going to read these three. And guys, I, 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 I have the new products up on Twin D Holistic Boutique, that square, that side. So you can go and take a look at them. Or you can just go to Diane's Cosmetic, that square, that side. I just wanted to remind you. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So some of you guys have been getting an idea about something. You've been getting an idea to do something. Whether it's about work, whether it's about your love life, whether it's about moving, whatever it is. That idea is coming to you. And here, here, it's a brilliant idea. It's divinely guided. And like I always tell you guys, if you're getting an idea, if you're getting this nudge, if you're getting this thought about you doing something, if you want to know if you should truly move towards that, that thing, thought, idea, whatever it is, feeling, ask God. Ask God. You say, God, if I am to move to Morocco... <laughs> That's the only word that popped up. <laughs> if I'm to move to Morocco, show me a purple bird. And you always ask for something that you don't see every day. And stop asking for numbers. Everybody sees numbers, even if they're not a twin, twin flame. Once you're awakened, you're going to see numbers, okay? Okay? Stop asking for numbers, okay? <laughs> you want to ask for something that you don't normally see every day. That when you receive that answer with that sign, you know it's your answer from God. All right. Stop asking for numbers. Moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. These two messages came out in the other message before. Like I said, the moon cycle is coming up somewhere, somehow. I don't know them. You all know I don't, I don't pay attention to astrology. You know, that, that's not for me. So those of you who do, whatever cycle is coming around, use that energy to manifest what you need to manifest. You know? And, beloved one, Archangel Shamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. This is a spiritual connection. Your angels are standing by you, protecting you, helping you, guiding you, protecting you again. They're helping you. And that's why you're also receiving those signs, those nudges. So ask God that question. And in any life-changing situation that comes up, you want to move? You want to buy a new house? You want to buy a new car? Ask God because God knows where your life should be. And if you receive that sign that you ask for, then you know it's, you're supposed to go ahead. But if you don't receive the sign, you know you should leave it alone because it will lead you in the wrong direction. You understand? So when if, if you don't get that sign, do not be disappointed because it's actually saving your life. You understand me, guys? Allow God to lead you in your life. And your life will be better than you ever imagined. Take care of yourself. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindyflamed.square.site for your bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, your incense. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site 